Hi, I'm Steve Hosher with Razor Gauge, and today we're going to talk about diagnosing problems with the inkjet printer that's found on the Razor Optimal systems, usually. Sometimes they're on the auto pusher, sometimes we even do them on an auto list. But I have a Razor Optimal right here with pocket hole saw, and the inkjet printer is found right here. Uh, this is the inkjet printer. Uh, this is the cartridge. It's mounted on this springy device here that uh, finds the thickness of the board and keeps the bottom of the printer head about a 32nd to a 16th above the wood. Uh, that is controlled by this roller. Um, basically, to set it, you put a piece of wood under there and adjust this roller using this screw and adjust it down until there's the a 32nd to a 16th of a gap right here. Then if you uh, then you tighten this back up and you, we turn it at a slight angle so that when the material comes through it pulls the wood in against the fence and also creates a little back pressure against the pusher. Um, if you need to adjust the whole assembly up and down for thicker material you'll do that back here. You crack this screw loose and lift this or move it down depending on the thickness of your material so you have a little bit of pressure when the material comes under it. Now if you're having trouble with the inkjet printer, let's say it's not printing, the very first thing to do is to go to the touch screen and press labels. And when the label screen comes up, make sure the checkbox is checked that says print labels. Sometimes this accidentally gets unchecked and the machine doesn't print labels anymore and um, you have to call in and then we find out that the uh, checkbox isn't checked. Another thing you can uh, look at is the do not print selection. Press this button. These are the part names from your cut list that you don't want to print on. Sometimes, for example, drawer box parts. Uh, since those aren't going to get sanded, you don't want to print on them. So you uh, check which parts don't get printed here and they won't be printed on and sometimes that can cause you know, confusion. So that's what we want to do from the software standpoint and of course we want to be sure that there are actual fields to be printed. That all these don't, if all these say empty then nothing's going to get printed. So that's the first step, is look at this screen. Then the next thing to do, if it still doesn't print or if all that was okay, what we want to do is we want to find out first if this device here has power. Now power is supplied through this plug right here. It plugs right into the top of the inkjet printer. And um, one way to tell if there is power and communication, those are the two things it requires, power and communication. Um, the easiest way to tell that both things are working okay is to watch this little LED that's right here and then I'm going to press the purge button which is on the main screen at, uh, of the touch screen. So when I press purge, that light will blink. And if that light blinks when you press purge, you know you have power and communication. Um, now there are two ports here where this communication cable could plug in. It's got to be in the, the one that's further from the operator side. Now another way to, to, uh, to get some feedback uh, quick is again to use the purge button but to put a piece of wood under the printer and then press purge. Again the light should blink and then we pull out the material and there should be a black spot of ink on there because when you press the purge button it shoots a little ink out of all the jets. So if it does that then things should be printing. If it doesn't uh, then we have some diagnostics. If you're getting a red light, uh, the little green light is flashing when you press purge but you're not getting any ink then it's probably the, the inkjet cartridge. Um, now there are some things we can do to the cartridge to, uh, if it's not printing well, one is just put in a new one. 
Um, here is the cartridge. Now these are the connections where all the communication and and interaction with the cartridge happen. These are the jets down here on the bottom. There are a couple things you can do to keep your cartridges in good shape. When you're not using the machine, put the little cover on that uh, protects the cartridge. Another thing, if you've left it off and it's, and it's gotten dry, you can use this cleaning kit to uh, fix it up. So the way that works is to put the cleaning kit on the printer cartridge, plug this little syringe in there, and then retract the plunger and you'll pull ink through the jets and uh, it can unclog a printer that a printer cartridge that's that's dried out. Now if you've done all these things and um, we still are having trouble with with printing, um, usually it's because the the little light isn't coming on. In other words, we either don't have power or we don't have communication. So, or there may be a problem inside the printer head itself. Uh, now there are two boards inside this head. They're both available on our web store. Each can be replaced independently or together and uh, so that can repair it if this head is bad. To diagnose communication problems um, basically what we're going to do is follow this communication cable. Now it looks just like an Ethernet cable like you would use to connect your PC to a network. You want to be sure it's plugged in and you want to be sure the power is plugged in and there's a set screw that holds the power cord in. You want to be sure that's tight. If it's loose or not there, then this power can wiggle around and it can intermittently lose power. Which you'll notice that because your print will change from a fat, a nice legible setting to a, a squished look where all the letters are, are close together and, and very narrow. So. Um, you'll want to be sure this is tight. Now, uh, we will also want to be sure that there is power, you know, this goes to the power supply, the, the wall plug for the printer, make sure it's plugged in. And um, this goes back to the crayon board. And now we'll go back to the crayon board and we'll see where this plugs in so you can check, uh, just make sure it's plugged in on the other side. All right, now we're looking at the crayon board. This is the communication cable that goes to the uh, inkjet printer. This is the communication cable that goes from the crayon board to the PC. So if you're having communication problems with the printer, you want to make sure this is plugged in, this is plugged in, and this goes down to the uh, motherboard. We want to be make sure the other end is plugged in down here. So. That's um, some tips on troubleshooting the inkjet printer.